I call the member for Shortland. Uh, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Well, question time starts in 10 minutes, and I guarantee the epithet of class war will be thrown about an awful lot from the government. And it is true, Mr Deputy Speaker, that a class war is happening right now. It's a class war being perpetuated by the government. They have declared war on the vast majority of Australians, the vast majority of Australians who don't earn $200,000 and up words each year, the vast majority of Australians who struggle every day to pay their bills, be able to afford their kids' excursion, to be able to put clothes on their backs. And the tax changes that pass through the Senate today represent that class war. A class war where a lawyer on $200,000 will get a seven grand tax cut, whereas the typical worker in my electorate will get $9.80 a week. And to justify this class war, they've made all sorts of ridiculous claims that forklift drivers earn 160 grand a year. Well, give us one example of a forklift driver who earns 160 grand a year. All the principals are the typical education professional in this country, headmistresses, as uh, the Prime Minister used, when they are three per cent of the education workforce. The truth is, Mr Deputy Speaker, the median worker in my electorate earns $47,000. The median worker in the country earns a bit over $50,000. We've got one in five kids in this country who at least once a year will go to school without a meal. That is a disgrace. That's where we need funding, not a seven grand tax cut for the top end of the town when people are going hungry.